Y'all yeah, know what it is, your boy Block125 checking in from Zone 3 with the Progress Report with the OG La La. She working, you know what's going on. Half a brick out right now. We finna drop 36 time 2 next month, so stay tuned. The Progress Report. Right. Another thing I noticed too, you had a, a relationship with Bankroll Fresh, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, I, he was one of the first people that really gave me a chance as far right. as pulling out the camera and whatnot. Um, so talk about your relationship with Bankroll. Bankroll was like my little brother though. Like, I think Bankroll was about 14 years old, him and Montana um, had a little group together. They were they, on um, Get Rich Click. Hmm. And so their dad had stepped to him one time because it wasn't stuck going on. He needed me to step up and um, take him to the studio and make sure they had the music still going on because he had to go do something else for about like a couple months or something. So I just stepped in. I started taking a relationship with him because we were hanging out and shit. I was like, man, these little niggas look faster than what they supposed to be. Hmm. So they called me and they big bro, big bro. So I'm picking them up. They hanging out with them. We going to my house. We going to Ross house. Like, take the studio. We just doing everything. They just with me every day. And so then he got up, well, he got about 16. Then he started hanging in the tent. So he started making a little plays in the street. So he comes on like, this little nigga here, yeah, but he always been by the hustle. Mm -hmm. But he always been by the music too. Like, he always like Gucci. You go all that old music he been around. Like, oh, yeah. Everybody love him. Yo, got it. He just one of them guys. Like, he just, but at the time when the music started switching up in Atlanta, he kind of got frustrated. Like, I ain't doing it to that bubble guns. This shit ain't real, this ain't how Atlanta set up. He, the court used to have me reflect on that. Cause he like, they making no look bad, bro. Mm. They think a nigga on that boot, that sucker shit. Like, nah, like, nah, man. They be cool, real nigga. She gonna come back through, just keep grinding. Mm -hmm. So he started grinding, grinding. Some more, he caught a little rap. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, his daddy, K. Rich, always mm. been behind him. Like, he been in the music game and said, well, far. So I had pay work. Man, him did some business. So I'm on set, well, far. They were for the street money. Mm -hmm. So, but like we say, we all want each other to be their own boss. So, mm -hmm. he always gonna be okay. This your dad, this your big bro. Mm -hmm. But you wanna go start your own come street money. He started street money, and we didn't never get behind. Be like, hey, Frank, you know you probably should be saying this, should be saying that. No, nah, you your own boss. Go out your own brand. Be your own brand. You feel what I'm saying? We don't handle nobody no good situation. You feel? Me? It's all love at the end of the day. You feel? Me? True. That's a real, that's a real situation. Though. Have you got a chance to see a son since? Yeah. I seen that. I was just over there at the, um, what the last thing was, that little Thanksgiving. Mm. Thanksgiving, Word. that was like about a month ago. PJ, I was over there talking to him. Word. I was sitting down with his dad like two or three times. Seeing him, mom, I keep in touch with who I need to keep in touch with. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm.